we're just going to continue to explore our section in this video. Now we created our ceiling by here, but what I've done, I have now created another section, same process as before. But as we have a look at this section on the corners, we can see that our ceiling joists tying in where the truss would be over the wall plate. But we get this large protrusion through the roof, which of course is not what we want. So there's a couple things I'm going to do here. I'm going to first of all edit the ceiling type and just remove that row two that I put in earlier with the insulation and say, okay. Oh, edit, delete it first, sorry. There we go, delete and okay. Okay, now that's dropped it down to there. So we can see now our ceiling joist fits in by there, but I do want to show the insulation. So what I'm going to do next is copy that ceiling and just move it up 150 and then I'm going to click on that one and edit that and duplicate it and just call it 150 insulation say okay and we can get rid of our plasterboard and just change the material to our insulation. Okay. Now I'm going to just have a little look. We haven't quite got it in the right place. So let's just move it using the move command by there. All right. Now, what have we got? We've got this and it's still sticking out. So it's a bit of a problem. So we'll first of all just show you what this join geometry does. So if we click on the join geometry, press on the roof and then press on that bit of ceiling. There we go. Make sure it highlights. Notice how it cuts it away so it looks tidier, but we've still got that by there. So what I'm going to do now is click on what we've got left and edit the boundary. And I'm going to jump to the ground floor plan. And instead of it being over there, because this is the insulation, I'm going to drag it in a bit and I'm going to come inside a little bit by there as well, because the insulation would naturally taper with the roof. And then let's go back to the section. And that should be a little bit better. So we'll tick. OK, that's good. It's no longer protruding beyond our roof, which is good. But we can still improve our drawings a bit. Now, you'll notice we'll use the same command again, this join geometry. Click on the roof. Click on that ceiling and it's now joined it by there. Now we could have done that the other way around if you would prefer. So on this side let's first of all sort the wall out because we'll see the wall is still sticking up on this side. So we'll do the wall onto the ceiling by there. But let's just say we would actually want the ceiling to go into the roof so just escape right again right. Right. let's enjoy the geometry so we can just sort that out click on that say and join to that and now we can see it back there okay so let's do that again now but the other way around so we'll join the wall to there so we've just tidied up our wall plate and then we'll join 
the ceiling to the roof. And now you can see we've got that cutting into the roof instead. So do it either way around, which one you prefer, but that just makes it look a bit nicer. Now you may also notice that what I have done, I have actually got this wall going down through the floor. So to do this, I actually edited the boundaries of my floor. If you just have a look and I've created three separate floors now with the boundaries around each wall that is load bearing. So the original wall was down here and I moved it up to there. So I'm just going to cancel that. Okay, and that enabled me then in my sections to actually have the wall go down through the floor instead of having a mishmash. So there's just a couple little extra points there where you can just tidy up your sections and just make them a bit nicer around some of those detailed points.